Patrick spent six years as a herdsman before escaping his bondage and being reunited with his family in Britain. Patrick was called in a dream to bring the Christian faith to Ireland. And so he returned to that place of his suffering. He returned to that place of his bondage. He returned to Ireland. And there Patrick journeyed far and wide, baptizing chiefs and kings and converting whole clans of people. As we all know, legend says that Patrick explained the notion of the Holy Trinity using a shamrock, which is now the national flower of Ireland. He is also said to have rid all the snakes out of Ireland. Not like the snakes, but be a very nice place to live. St. Patrick is especially important to you, members of the ancient order of Ireland. From the earliest centuries of the church, Patrick has been honored because he was willing to accept the mission given to him by God to bring Christianity to Ireland, to go back to a place where he had met such pain and sorrow and proclaim the presence of the kingdom of God. May St. Patrick intercede for us and may we continue as those born of water and the Holy Spirit, to journey through these holy days of Lent, to be reanimated by the dignity of our baptism, so that we might again be faithful to God and accept the mission that He has given to us. Amen.